did you have a little forecast that you wanted to talk about too in For the news here? It was uh, what to expect in 2022. I mean, yeah. So some of the articles that that were sent over, um, kind of what to expect in 20, 2022. I mean, obviously, we think that it's going to be a more buyer friendly. Mm -hmm. Let's market. get our crystal ball out. First. Yeah, like you know, <laughs> things will start. I mean, we we see there's a lot of construction going on. Um, now the issue is workers and supply chains. workers and supply chains. Yeah. And then also what type of houses are they building? I mean, most of them are focusing on three twos, four twos, four threes, somewhere between that, uh, I would say 16 to, you know, what, 2,600 square foot house, which is outside of, you know, what, yeah. what on smaller lot. Yeah. On smaller lots. So again, the affordability of those, it's like, okay, there will be more homes. It's going to be more of a buyer's market. We don't think it necessarily means prices are going to start dropping. Right. It'll just mean there's more inventory available. There'll be more time on the market mm -hmm. and you won't have to maybe you won't have to bid, on bid up. Right. On them. Right. So, well, I mean, we're, we're also in fall and sales typically start dropping in fall. Yeah. The, the times on market are longer because Fewer people are looking for homes this time of the year because everybody's already in their school district. Now, that didn't occur last year because of the because whole everything COVID was messed situation. Up. Were, yeah, everyone was working from home and all the yeah. students were virtual anyway, yeah. so it didn't yeah. matter. Um, so, yeah, it's all we have is a best guess. <laughs> yeah, and we, but, and we still continue to think that, you know, we still think the suburbs are going to be the hotter, the hotter yeah. market. Like, we think that's going to continue. We're, we're, we're still going to have... Um, higher prices that I don't think the um, prices are going to increase at the same rate they did this past I agree. year, mm -hmm. I agree. but we're still going to have uh, pricing issues because listen, it's, we already discussed this. It's taking longer for them to build the home, right? Yeah. Uh, they have labor issues. They have supply chain issues and it's just taking longer. So I think the big changes we're going to see is you're going to, you're, you're not going to get as many, over asking price yeah. offers. Um, in fact, you may not even get any that you may not, may just get what you're asking for. I think you also are going to see sellers having to do concessions at the closing Correct. where they're going to have mm -hmm. to pay a little bit more toward closing costs and, and repairs and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, so for the buyer, they're going to have an opportunity to actually do a little due diligence and choose the house they want rather than throw contracts at people trying just to get whatever they can. Just trying to get a house. Yeah. yeah. That, which it should be like that. It's just, it's seriously abnormal right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, at, at some point, I mean, again, these are what we think for 2022. Um, but these, if we, if we get into like, quantitative easing we can't continue that forever right at some point the pendulum has to come at back. some point <laughs> this has to switch like interest yeah, rates right. have to go up and if they don't go up what's the what's the ripple effect from that right, right. not just on our economy but but globally speaking absolutely and before we get into our our ugly question i wanted to mention that <clears throat> real estate um as I always feel is still the best investment, mm -hmm. especially since the new administration is trying to uh, pass a tax law that they are going to tax unrealized gains in your stock portfolios. So <laughs> at the end of every year, you get your statement yeah. and you have a gain. They want to tax you on that gain, even though you yeah, haven't not in your exercised uh, that purchase or sale yet. You don't mm -hmm. have that. It's all on paper. <clears throat> Unless they do that with real estate as well. And I don't know how they're going to do that. They would have to apparently have to go off of every time a municipality reevaluates their tax uh, procedures. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how they would do that. So um, now that said, you can't um, tax people on unrealized gains if you're also not allowing them to have losses on their taxes yeah, so they're gonna as have the to... prices go down. Mm -hmm. So it should offset. The, the, the point is if you owe taxes at the end of the year and most of your money is invested in the stock market, you have to come out of pocket each year with 
with taxes. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 